Alright, hi guys. My name is Ki Hyun Lee and thanks for coming. Oh. Today, I'm here to break the ice between us, although I'm not sure if there's any between us. Now, today I'm going to tell you about myself, practically about myself, and it's about my hobby as a youngster and a high school hobby, and my, my memorable experiences I had, I've had in America. And also lastly, the things that I've learned in these 20 years. Alright, first of all, my hobby. My hobby as a youngster was watching soccer games and especially building Lego bricks. I don't know why, but it was kind of fun just building stuff like this, building it. Okay, and next, my hobby as a high schooler was, I don't know why, it was listening to piano music. Don't ask me why, it's because I myself don't know. And if any one of you here is interested in piano music, then try typing Kyle Landra in the YouTube channel. You will trust me, you will never regret it. This music is very amazing. Okay, and moving on. It's about my memorable experience. It's not a one-day one day experience, a short experience, but it's a year-long experience I have, I've had in America. When I was eight years old, about this tall, I went to America, Michigan State, East Lansing with my parents, with my parents and my brother. Uh, while I stayed there, I I've attended the school of Red Cedar Elementary School, and for a year, and I, it was a very countryside school. I'm not sure if it's still there. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> it's an American school, so there are obviously a lot of foreign students, like from Uzbekistan, Taiwan, and Korea. Me, and I've got and I got to learn a lot of things there. A lot of cultures, different cultures, and yeah. What I'm trying to say here is that while I stay there, I've really enjoyed my interaction with the foreign students, and and you know my future dream. Like I got to set my future dream as communicating with foreign people. Yeah, so it's like becoming an interpreter, whether, whether it be an interpreter or a PCO, which stands for a professional conference organizer, my dream became, uh, my, I set my goal, my ultimate goal to become, uh, you know, person who interacts with foreign people, from people from, uh, people from different countries. Anyway, oh, and one more thing, I've practically, I practically got my English, these, these English skills from my stay in America which is how I got to apply for this Hankook University of Foreign Studies. All right, now, my, I'm gonna say one, I'm gonna, uh, before ending this speech of mine, I'm gonna tell you guys one more thing. It's about my, it's about something that I learned in these 20 years. I'm sure you guys all know this, is, uh, you know, consider other people's feelings before saying what you're gonna say. I mean, I'm sure you've all had this experience, and I've too had it, like, I've once heard a friend, be, like, before, I, I didn't mean to hurt him, but I said something bad about him, and our relationship kind of cut off for about a year, I think. Luckily, we got our relationship, uh, we restored our relationship, but you get what I'm, you get what I'm trying to say, right? Consider other people, people's feelings before shouting out loud what you're gonna say, like, I don't like you, don't say like that. Now, finally, <coughs> uh, do you have any questions for me? Nope. <laughs> now, if you don't have any, then I'm gonna end this. Uh, I'm gonna end this, and I hope we got to break the ice between us. Thank you.